Okay, let's do a teardown. Uh, this is an attenuator. Um, it's an oldie but goodie. Model 355A, a VHF attenuator, so it goes from DC to DC. DC to 500 megahertz, so that's cool. You can use it everywhere, up to a half a gigahertz. And up to half a watt, so... Um, it's got the really cool old H HP logo. I really like that logo. Um, and it's got some cool markings on it. It's got a calibration sticker. Uh, full calibration was done on uh, May of 1980, 89. It says it's due uh, May of 1990. And it was at uh, SRI International. So SRI International is a Stanford Research. Um, I think I is just international. Maybe it's International International. SRI Institute. No. Stanford Research Institute International. So it's a nonprofit company that's a, a, a think tank for the U.S. military. So they get grants from the U.S. military and invent all kinds of crazy things for the military. Um, they're up in uh, Menlo Park and uh, uh, just north of Palo Alto. So it hasn't gone far from home. And the other cool thing is a uh, stencil on the back here. It says Ant Lab. So maybe they were developing Ant-Man. No, probably an Antana Lab. But <laughs> uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's open it up. Find a screwdriver of the appropriate size. Oops. These look like 440 screws. I think most of my career, not career, but most of my hobby, hobby career has been uh, Using 440 screws, they seem to be my favorite size screw. Um, I've, dr I've drilled and tapped tons and tons and tons of 440 holes. Um, and I know right away you use a number 43, 43 drill uh, before you tap. And I have bought multiple 43s, to, so I always have a nice sharp one on hand. All right, so. Let's see if we can't get this top off. Uh, okay, let's try it out. That's good. Oh, there we go. All right, so we can see part of the mechanism. So this one is manual. Um, so it has a dial. And it says decibels. So these are dB. And it's 1 through 12. This one goes to 12. Excellent. Um, and so it's every dB is a step. Right, so no dBs, 1 dB down, 2 dB down, 3 dB down, all the way up to 12 dB of attenuation. And the way that it does that is with this cool cam. So as we rotate the uh, knob here, these different cams have different things and it uh, toggles in and out uh, one, well, let's see here. I think this one's just a clicker, so it's three. So it's basically, there's three attenuators and it's swapping them in and out in some type of pattern. Um, you can kind of imagine this as a three bit binary. So uh, it would be, hmm. Yeah, so three bit binary, that would give you only eight, hmm. but there's 12. So how do they do that? Oh, wait a minute, but this one over here too. Ah, there's this one, there we go, this one. Uh, the cam is on one half of the uh, of the shaft, so this is like uh, the lowest significant bit, or the mo least most significant bit. I guess it's most significant bit. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so sixteen positions, right? Okay, good. Um, so I guess we have to open up the bottom of it to see the goodness. Um, this is just the cam, and the bottom has oh my goodness, <laughs> it has lots of lots and lots of. Uh, Screws. So let me let me change screwdrivers. All right. So I have a uh, I have an electronic screwdriver. So let me 
Let me loosen them up so I can use it. Little electric screwdrivers are good, but they don't have much torque. I know I'm right in the way of the camera. I'll probably speed this part of the video up. All right. I don't know if you have one of these. They're uh, little, like double A batteries. <laughs> it doesn't go very fast, but it, it does save you from getting carpal tunnel. Lots of screws. Okay, let's see if we can take the bottom off. Ah, there we go. Oh, cool. How's that? Let's zoom in on that. Oh, very, very cool. So it only has to go to 500 megahertz, so you can get away with a lumped element. And so, uh, if you look in here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight micro switches. Those are little click, click micro switches. And um, so we're clicking in and out different parts of the, uh, of the attenuator. So up on the top though, we only have one, two, three, four cams. So the cams must operate multiple switches at the same time. So these are pairs. One, two, three, four. So the pairs are clicked in and out. Ah, that makes sense. So you can imagine the, these are pi network, right? There's two resistors and a, and a, a resistor across the middle. And uh, so uh, you either have this in it or you, or you actually remove it from the circuit. So uh, the switches are, are done in pairs. And uh, let's see if we can read some values here. These are 470. Let's see. No, they're different. Oh, these are 870, 150. Uh, these are, I can't read them, 430. And these are, I don't know. I can't read them. And then these say 105, yeah, it's all jammed in there, so I can't read the values, but uh, it is pretty cool. So all hand wired, some, some person hand wired this whole thing in Palo Alto, probably in building, somewhere between buildings one and uh, one and six all everybody kind of lived in buildings one through six or one through five well it's been a long time now one through five one through six i don't remember now i used to work in building three lower
I like it. So I think you can see how that works. We have uh, this cam looks like it's uh, only on 180 degrees out. And this one looks like it's on every 90 degrees. And then this one looks like it's on every, oh, a really weird number. Yeah, I guess both of these are kind of a little bit weird. And then this one's on half of the time. Yeah, very, very cool. I like it. You can still pick these up. They're still, uh, you still see them around. They still work great. This one needs probably needs a little bit of polish on the air, a little bit of uh, silver cleaner or something on this uh, BNC. It's a, this one's a little bit dirty. This one looks new. This looks like maybe it was replaced. Hmm, I don't know. Seems strange that one would oxidize and one wouldn't. Well, they both look vintage. Maybe this one was just exposed to something in their setup. Looks like somebody drilled an extra hole in it. I don't think that's original. I think somebody put a mounting hole in this one to probably to hold it in some fixture. It's all cast aluminum. It's very heavy. Oh well, hope you enjoyed that. I'll put it all back together.